Hi everyone, welcome to my book journal review. This is my first ever review, so I really hope it goes well for you guys. Uh, so to get us started, I have my book journal here. It's such, I'll show you, it's such a lovely bullet journal that I got from the, the notebook therapy. It comes in this really lovely box and there's loads of different designs to choose from. So I've gone for this lovely orange Kitsune version. So it's got, it's got a little Kitsune, a little moon, a few plants and everything. So it feels really nice as well. It's a really, really good bullet journal. So I use this to document what books I've read and if I want to pick up a book in a year's time, I can just go through this and read one again that I really enjoy. Um, so turn to the first page of my journal. We have Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. So this is the first book I read last year. I've only recently got into reading and I've really got hooked on it now. It's really, really good. Um, so yes, we've got Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. Uh, so I'm a big fan of Greek mythology. So this was already a winner for me. So here's the book that I got. So I've got a really nice hardback cover. I really like the front cover. I, I love the colours. I just love everything about it. So I re also read through audio. So because I'm dyslexic, I really struggle to read in my head. So I will literally put my headphones in and read along with the audio going. So it really kind of brings it to life. And the audio for this is absolutely amazing on Amazon Audible. So it really brought it to life for me a bit more. And I think that's why I'm enjoying reading it a lot more since I got into listening to it with audio. So yeah, as I said, I'm a big, big, big fan of Greek mythology. So this is already a winner for me. Um, um, the perspective that is shown in this book of Medusa is so off stereotype. I really, really love it. So we're quite, we're all brought up to hate Medusa. So she's a big villain that she turns people to stone and all this lot. Whereas we're following her through her journey. And I'm not going to lie, I did shed a tear through this story. There is a horrid twist at the end. And that's why I really love this book. Um, it took me about a week to read. Uh, I haven't annotated this one. Uh, because it was my first read and I really wanted to kind of get into it. So, but the other reviews I will do next, they're all going to be annotated. I'll be able to show you like my little quotes and little scenes that I like with no spoilers or anything like that. I rated this book in my journal five out of five, purely because I would pick this book up and I would read it again. I would read this again and again. There's humour, there's sadness, there's twists and... It does still follow form with traditional Greek mythology, but she's shown a different perspective of this. So I really like how she's approached this story, this, this journey of Medusa. That's why I really, really enjoyed it. If you don't follow Greek mythology, that's fine too. I mean, it's still a good, it's still a good book. It's still a good story. Just to read you the first, the first um, bit of the blurb, Medusa is the sole mortal in the family of gods. Growing up with her Gorgon sisters, she begins to realise that she is the only one experiencing change, the only one that can be her, and her mortal lifespan gives her an urgency that her family never know. So that hooks me straight away, and because it was about Greek mythology, that's why I picked it up in the first place. Um, just to let you know, a bit of a spoiler for my next review. You probably saw it in the journal. It's, it is actually Stalking Jack the Ripper. I'm going to review that series. I'm currently on book four of four at the moment, uh, but I can go on to reading Stalking Jack the Ripper. I can go on to reviewing that straight away. I have annotated it. I'm ready to go with it. So that's going to be a really good one. I'm really going to enjoy doing this series with you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if, you've, if anyone's got any recommended reads for me to do or anything like that, please, please comment below. I'm always up for a challenge. I'm always up for something new, something something I can do. So thank you. Five out of five.